you guys is. Hope you guys are doing well. I'm going to start off your reading with an oracle message, then I'll get into the tarot. For those of you interested in a personal reading, you can visit my website at swordstarot.com. Also, for those of you interested in learning how to read tarot, my tarot training is down below. Okay, so we got debt paid. A lot of you can be focused on uh, getting things paid off, credit score, bills, things like that. I do see you achieving, um, you know, whatever credit goals or debt goals that you have here. We do have unemployment. For some of you, you may be looking for a new uh, job. We have entry level. So for some of you, I do see you finding this job. You may be starting training uh, very soon. And we have multitasking. So for some of you, you may work from home um, or have multiple jobs or you could be looking for another job. And then at the bottom of the deck, we have negotiate. So you may be negotiating pay uh, or negotiating prices if you're selling something. I just got selling a car. For some of you, you may be selling your car um, or selling your house, something like that. What are the love messages for Pisces? Okay. So we have regret. Regret. <laughs> I can't say that word. Regret. I wish this never happened. Okay. So somebody's definitely regretting a decision when it comes to you. We have reminiscing. I miss our inside jokes. So for some of you, you may have walked away from someone. And, you know, I feel like due to you walking away, they regret how they treated you. We have reveal. I want to tell you the truth. So somebody could want to reveal their feelings for you. This could be somebody new. what are the messages for Pisces we have disagreements I wish you understood how I feel okay so definitely getting maybe somebody is not seeing things from your point of view habits I don't know if we will ever change so yeah for some of you may be contemplating walking away from a situation <coughs> that's uh, maybe you've had a lot of disagreements like I'm getting I feel like I'm picking up on a Pisces that's been with someone like for years and you may be just questioning like should is this ever going to change should i walk away we have overwhelmed the stress from this is draining me so yeah you could be feeling overwhelmed at this time and we have ego i let my pride get in the way of our connection yeah i definitely feel there's some sort of communication coming in here um kind of looking back at that reveal card somebody may want to express how they feel to you so we have the Ace of Pentacles. So if we're talking about career here, I definitely do see a job opportunity. Kind of going back to this unemployment card, if you are looking for a new job, I do I do see that coming in here for you. We also have the Ace of Cups. So I'm feeling like there's new beginnings all around here for you, job, um, money-wise and love-wise as well. I'm feeling like somebody wants to reveal their feelings for you. Spirit, what are the messages for Pisces? They just told me talking stage. You could be in the talking stage with somebody. You have the Emperor card energy, Aries energy here. For some of you, <coughs> you could be getting a promotion with this Ace of Pentacles with the Emperor. Temperance and the Three of Pentacles. Yeah, maybe for some of you, you've been waiting on this position if we're talking about uh, work. You could be dealing with the Sagittarius. I do have Air, uh, Aries energy here as well. For some of you, this could be a coworker. So I feel like I'm picking on definitely two groups of Pisces here. For some of you, there is a new connection uh, that maybe you're in like the talking stage with somebody or maybe the connection is trying to get off the ground. And I'm also talking to another group of Pisces that are very career focused. There's definitely um, some sort of promotion, some sort of new opportunity. It's like, I feel like you're going to be very excited about getting this news about whatever this is. Or maybe you're getting a second job or starting a business. There's something here um, about improving your finances. I feel like you've dedicated a lot of time and energy into this goal and I see you achieving it. So uh, we do have the Nine of Swords and the Five of Swords. Somebody here is very in their head about a love connection. The Tower. Okay, so yeah, for some of you could be dealing with a Scorpio. Something here, I do feel like due to some sort of stress or disagreements or, you know, feeling overwhelmed, all of this, I feel like you're going to be leaving the situation. Um, I do feel like by the end of this month, this is only of course going to be for some of you, but by the end of this month, the fact that this is the last card, um, I feel like you're going to be ending a relationship due to somebody playing mind games. The Five of Swords, the Five of Swords here as well. Somebody is playing mind games with you. Why is the Ace of Pentacles here? For some of you, you could be looking for a new job. Yes, there's multiple options here for you. Um, this new job may require you to travel with this Chariot card energy. Why is the Emperor card here? Yeah, something about taking control. I feel like for a lot of you, you're taking back control 
of your energy, of your life. We have the Hierophant here twice. So there's a lot of dedication in your energy um, this month, wanting to make positive changes in your life. Some of you can be done with a Taurus. Uh, for some of you, this is going to be the end of a marriage as well. Clarifying the temperance, we have the Hermit card. So for a lot of you, you're really going within this month. Um, doing what you need to do for yourself, doing shadow work, healing, and figuring out what is, what's going to be best for you. <coughs> for some of you, you may have already decided to leave whatever situation this is. For some of you, it is going to be a work situation for a new job. And for some of you, it's going to be a relationship. Why is the Three of Pentacles energy here? The Two of Pentacles. Something about a choice. The Ten of Swords. And you may be deciding to leave... For some of you, you're about to make this decision very soon. Give me more on that Two of Pentacles. Yeah, for a lot of you, you're going to be walking away because you're unsatisfied. And I feel like this is you. Of course, it could be vice versa, but I do feel like this is you deciding to walk away from something and move towards um, something that makes you happy. If you look, she's moving towards the sun, which the sun is happiness. I feel like you could be reconciling with someone with this Three of Cups. Why is the Hierophant energy here? Yeah, the Eight of Swords, the Ten of Pentacles. For some of you, you may feel stuck in a marriage or stuck in a relationship because of finances or because of a living situation. And picking up on a Pisces that is, like, not happy in their situation anymore. The Three of Swords and the Nine of Wands. Maybe you feel like you need to protect yourself. Um, or you just feel like you need to have your guard up at all times. But I do feel like with this Page of Cups, you are thinking about somebody here. Somebody here is thinking about you. Could be a King of Cups, Cancer Pisces, Scorpio energy. Why is the Page of Cups energy here? The Page of Swords. So yeah, it could be a Gemini uh, for some of you. But I do feel like somebody's watching over you here. This interest. The Page of Cups and the Page of Swords is interest. Why is the Nine of Swords energy here? Yeah, why don't you pursue a new beginning? Maybe you already know what this new beginning is. The Chariot, the Lovers can be done with a Gemini or a Cancer. Um, this may require some travel here with the Chariot card. <coughs> this is clarifying the Nine of Swords though, so you could be like in your head about uh, should you go for this? Intuitively, maybe you know you should, the High Priestess. Because you know the Tower is coming. Why is the Five of Swords here? They just told me, ooh, yeah, clarifying the Five of Swords, yeah, the Five of Swords. I feel like somebody's controlling ways is going to push you over the edge, and that's going to be the Tower. Why is the Tower card here? Could be dealing with the Scorpio. Yeah, there's going to be some sort of new opportunity coming in that's going to allow you, it's going to bring balance into your life. Whatever this Ace of Pentacles is, it is bringing balance into your life. Put the Ace of Pentacles here twice. So this is just confirming that something here, something really good and really valuable is coming in. It could be lump sum of money. It could be whatever it is. But it's going to allow you to bring that balance or it's going to give you the money you need to move. Like, like I said, for some of you, you're stuck in a living situation. Like it's going, something here is going to assist you in dealing with this tower. Because this tower is happening regardless. But do know you're getting um, some sort of blessing from the universe here. Okay. So I was going to say any additional messages or advice. We do have the judgment card of the Queen of Cups. The Queen of Cups, this is you. The judgment, this is self-reflection. It's also time to make a decision with this judgment card. Because I'm feeling like if you do not make this decision now, the universe is going to do it for you. And how the universe does it is through towers. Is there any additional messages Pisces needs to know? Yes, the Eight of Cups. It's time to walk away. Turn your back on a situation that no longer serves you. The Eight of Cups is here too. So I do hope that this reading was helpful for you guys. If you would like a personal reading, you can visit my website at swordstarot.com. Also, for those of you interested in learning how to read tarot, my tarot training is down below. And I'll see you guys in the next video.